Well, if any of you don't know, over the summer, Husqvarna came out with two new batteries, uh, their battery-powered lineup of equipment. Um, you know, they were kind of just thrown into the mix there. Uh, no real big announcements as to when they were coming out. But anyway, here they are. We wanted to show you them and give you a little bit of information about them. There's the BLI-200X that I'm sure plenty of you have heard, heard stuff about it. So we'll get to it here in a little bit. Um, the other one is the BLI-30. And the BLI-30, as you can see, is an orange battery. It is the upgrade of the, uh, well, I shouldn't say upgrade. It's the big brother of the BLI-20 because they actually are upgrading the BLI-20. And that'll be um, later on down the road. We'll get to that. But um, BLI-30 is going to give you more runtime than a BLI-20. It's going to weigh a little bit more, and it's going to cost a little bit more. I don't know any equipment that it comes in a kit with, but um, it's out there. It's available right now. This is a uh, the BLI-20 is a 4.2, or no, I'm sorry, 4.0 amp hour battery, and the BLI-30 is a 7.5 amp hour battery. So it gives you an idea of the amount of runtime you'll get. You know, if you know what you're getting out of your BLI-20, then you can figure out how much more runtime you'd get out of this one. Um, being that it's an orange battery, it's only gonna work in your uh, consumer line of equipment, your 115i string trimmer, your 100 series battery powered hedge trimmer, uh, your 320 leaf blower, um, the, uh, what is the 115 pole saw, the 120i chainsaw, that line of equipment there, the BLI-30 will work with it. it will, actually, it'll also work with your um, self-propel mower and your Husqvarna battery-powered push mower. So that's a good place to use one of these at because you can get more runtime out of your mower, you know, if you put this in there compared to a BLI-20. Uh, this is also good to use in the, uh, the 320IB leaf blower because a leaf blower uses a lot of power and you don't get a long runtime out of these BLI-20s. So put one of these in there and it's going to give you a little bit more, more runtime in that leaf blower, maybe help you get the job done. Um, just to give you an idea here about how big this thing is, I mean, you can see it next to the BLI-20, but this is a BLI-300 battery, one of the commercial batteries, and it is the same physical size as a BLI-300 series battery. So, gives you an idea. It's going to add some more weight to your product. That's why I suggest, you know, that you use this only when you have to, and use it in stuff like the self-propelled mower and the... Uh, the push mower but if you got it you want to use another equipment um, as long as the consumer line of equipment it'll work in there so that's it for the BLI 30 let's move on here to the BLI 200 X BLI 200 X I said about um, you guys have probably heard about this one already because anytime they talk about the new uh, T540 IXP or the 540 IXP chainsaw the BLI 200 X battery comes up the reason for that is it's got some upgraded components in it over the BLI 200 battery. You can see that they're the same size. They, uh, they put out the same amount of power, uh, 5.2 amp hours, you know, the, the 40 volt max, 36 volt regular. Um, so anyway, uh, BLI 200 X, if you use this with the new, the two new models of chainsaws that T540 IXP or the 540, um, IXP chainsaw, it's going to give you the power of a, the, the equivalent power of a 40cc gas powered chainsaw. You will not get that with the BLI 200 because it does not have the battery management system to allow it to work that way like the BLI 200X does. Now, on the topic of the saws, they say you'll get that 40cc gas powered performance using this battery and using the big old BLI 300 battery. Now, if the BLI 300 battery, obviously it's gonna cost you more and it's going to add more weight to the machine, but you're gonna get a longer runtime out of it because this is a nine, what is it? 9.4 amp hour battery compared to the uh, the 5.2. So you can kind of pick your poison there. Honestly, if, if you're going up in a tree and you're using the top handled saw, um, you know, whether it's the uh, the T535, T536, 
um, top handle saw or it's the new um, T540 IXP, you might want to go with the BLI 200X because it's just going to make the, the saw lighter. It's going to be easier to, to maneuver around compared to you putting this big thing in there. Um, you know, you're not going to get as long of a run time out of it, but it's not going to wear you down either. So pick your poison there and it's, you know, everybody's got their own opinions and, and, uh, really depends on the job you're doing and what you feel comfortable with. But there it is. BLI 200X and that's it compared to the BLI 300 and the BLI 200 as far as the physical size. So we'll, um, we'll break this down a little bit more here for you and give you some more information about these couple batteries we just showed you here, the BLI 200X, BLI th uh, 30, BLI 300, BLI 200, and the BLI 20. There's a few other ones out there that are still available in the market, but these are the most common ones um, that, that you see people using. And it really, it goes up from here to the big backpack battery. So um, the BLI 200 and the BLI 300, the commercial guys, that was what like 95% of them were using. The BLI 20 was the only thing that was really available um, with the consumer products and to use in the consumer products unless you wanted to spend the extra money to buy a commercial battery. And I should point that out too, that the gray batteries, like this BLI 200X, the BLI 300, the BLI 200, these will work in all the Husqvarna equipment, all the Husqvarna battery powered equipment. The orange batteries only work in the consumer products. These work in the commercial products and the consumer products. So, you know, if you're looking to pick up an extra battery, you know, spend the money on a BLI 200X. Why not? Because Compared to buying another BLI 20, you're going to pay just a little bit more for this. We'll get into that in just a minute. But you're going to get a battery that'll work in anything. So if later on down the road you want to pick up a uh, 500 series trimmer or uh, you know a, a 500 series chainsaw, you already have the battery that's going to work in it. So just a little food for thought there. But that's them there, and now we'll jump into some more of the uh, some more of the specs like I was just talking about with these batteries I was just showing you here. So we'll start here with our BLI 20 uh, battery, and you can see we have BLI 20 slash 22 battery. They are making a running change on the BLI 20s. They're upgrading some of the components, making them a little bit more reliable. Um, the BLI 20s weren't terrible. There were some issues with some of the early ones, and and uh, at any rate, it's going to be a BLI 22 that you'll see showing up in some of your kits and stuff like that for your 320iB blowers, your 120i chainsaws, and your other consumer products that you buy in a kit but it's going to have the same specs as the bli 20 and we have them listed here the four amp hours 146 watt hours weighs 2.9 pounds and it's a 36 volt battery system that that husqvarna uses uh people get confused over that because it's 36 volts but then you see you know the 40 volts on labels here and there so it's 36 volts but it's a 40 volt maximum power out of these batteries so that's it there for the BLI 20 slash 22 battery. Uh, moving on here to the BLI 30 battery. So the BLI 30 battery, 7.5 amp hours, as we already mentioned, 270 watt hours. It weighs 4.2 pounds. And of course, as we said, everything is 36 volt with the Husqvarna battery powered equipment. But that 4.2 pounds, that's a good bit of weight you're gaining there, as we were talking about earlier over that BLI 20. Next up is the BLI 200 or BLI 200X. They have the same specs, so um, we just made one slide for the two of them. 5.2 amp hours, 180 watt hours, and it weighs 2.9 pounds. So it is the same weight as a BLI 20. Uh, it's just, as we keep mentioning, you can use the BLI 200 and the BLI 200X and all the equipment, consumer and commercial. The BLI 20 or the new BLI 22 that'll be coming out can only be used in the consumer equipment. And now that brings us to the BLI 300 battery, uh, which you get 9.4 amp hours, 324 watt hours, and it weighs 4.2 pounds. Now this is a big heavy battery and it is going to get you a lot more runtime because it's a bigger battery, uh, still 36 volts, but it's going to add some weight to your equipment. And again, it's a commercial battery, 
So you could buy one of these things and you could use it in your commercial equipment or you could use it in your consumer equipment. You could use this in your push mower. You can use this in your self-propelled mower. We've done it. Um, you could use this in your 320 IB leaf blower. You could use it in your 500 series chainsaw, um, whatever. So that's a benefit there. The, uh, the drawback is the weight and the price for most people. So on the topic of price, here you can see we have a BLI 30 and a BLI 300 battery. We showed you that they're the same physical size, but one puts out more power than the other and one costs less than the other. Now, um, this is really going to depend on what you plan on doing with your batteries, what equipment you want to run, uh, what you might plan on buying in the future. If you're just looking for another battery to add to your self-propelled mower or your um, battery-powered push mower, then the BLI 30 might be the way to go for you. 250 bucks. Um, it's going to be a big improvement over the BLI 20. Uh, you, you know, if you have just the battery powered self propelled mower or the battery powered push mower and say a leaf blower, this will be a good investment for you here. You know, you don't have to jump up to that BLI 300, but if you do have some commercial equipment, um, or, you just want to get a, uh, a even longer runtime out of your equipment. The BLI 300 might be the way to go because you can use that as we keep saying in the commercial equipment and the consumer equipment, it's going to get you almost another two hour or two amp hours, um, for 50 bucks more. And you pay that extra 50 bucks and it's not like that's a one-time thing. And, you know, you're not going to be able to get more power out of it all the time. This is going to be consistently, you're going to get more runtime out of it for that 50 bucks. So if you're using the equipment enough to get that extra runtime out of it and save you the downtime from charging a battery, the $50 might be worth it to jump up to the BLI 300 rather than the BLI 30. And it's the same way with the BLI 20 compared to the BLI 200 or 200 X, the BLI 20 slash 22 uh, currently sells for $149.99 here in the United States. The BLI 200 is $199.99, and the BLI 200X is $209.99. And you're going to go from 4.0 amp hours in the BLI 20 to 5.2 amp hours in the BLI 200 or the BLI 200X. Same weight, they're the same um, voltage, but again, you can use that BLI 200 or that BLI 200X in all of the equipment. So just something to think about, you know, 50 bucks. It's like, well, why do I want to pay an extra 50 bucks when I can just get this cheaper one? that's going to work for me. But you got to think over the long haul, you know, what's it going to save you over, uh, you know, a three to five year period when you break it down that way, spend an extra 50 bucks on a commercial battery that will work in anything. It's not really a bad deal. Okay. That's going to wrap up this video here. Hopefully you, uh, we able to learn something about these new batteries from Husqvarna, the BLI 200X, the BLI 30. Now you have an idea of at least how big they are and um, the power they put out, what equipment you can use them in, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're looking for them, to, to purchase one of them, just contact your local Husqvarna dealer. And if you can't get it through your local Husqvarna dealer, just send us an email and we'll get you hooked up one way or another. Um, but that's going to do it. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.